Today we're in Joshua chapter 7. The Israelites are in Jericho and God has told them that when they go through Jericho not to take any spoils, not to loot the city, but someone does, a man named Achan. He takes some Babylonian garments, he takes some silver, he takes some gold, and he hides it under his tent. And then the Israelites go to fight this group of people in Ai. And as they're fighting, they think, well, this is a smaller group. It's, it's going to be simple. We'll only send so many men. And what they find out is they get soundly defeated. They, they get conquered very quickly. And Joshua's kind of beside himself. Where's the Lord? Why is he not helping us? Why are we not winning this victory? And he's praying and God comes to Joshua and he tells him to get up, to stop praying, that someone has disobeyed. And so Joshua goes through this big process and he finally figures out who it is. It's this guy named Achan. And Achan is taken and his whole family to the center of the people right there and they stone him to death. Here's what the Lord said to Joshua while he was praying about the situation. The Lord said to Joshua, get up. Why do you lie on your face? Israel has sinned and they have transgressed my covenant which I have commanded them, for they have even taken some of the cursed things and have stolen and deceived, and they have also put it among their own stuff. This was a guy named Achan. And so God deals with the whole family of Achan for disobeying him. Joshua's all freaked out. Where's the blessing? God's not with us. God's not delivering us. God's not helping us win the battles. The people were filled with fear. And God reveals to Joshua what's going on. And there's a principle here for you and for me. I want to read one more passage from the book of Galatians in the New Testament that kind of, I think, connects us to an Old Testament passage we just read. It goes like this. And those who are Christ, you and me, those who are Christians, they crucify the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. So here's the principle. The guy who stole, the guy who did the evil things, the guy who disobeyed the Lord, well, he died. And we're called to put to death those things in our life that are disobedient to God, to crucify them and to walk in the Spirit. The people in Israel, as they followed the Lord, as they obeyed His commands, they prospered and they won their battles. And in many ways, I believe it's the same way for you and I, as it speaks of in Galatians. It's a battle and it's a daily dying to the flesh that we might be led by the Spirit.